Hi guys and welcome down to this week's Quest 4 350 video working on a particular technical aspect of the swing down here today. Uh, I did a video a couple of days ago about the benefits of lifting the left heel in the backswing to try and get a little bit more rotation a little bit more turn in the body, then that's basically what I'm gonna to try to do with the driver today. I've gotta to be honest, it is absolutely freezing here today and I'm not gonna get anywhere near 350 yards, but what I hopefully should see is a little bit of an increase in my club head speed. So just to kind of break it down, all I'm gonna be trying to do is turning, getting the left here lifting as I turn, it'll allow me to rotate my body a little bit more and hopefully, get my turn a lot more extended. I should see a little bit more of an overswing, which should allow me to get a little bit more kind of time to actually pick up the club head speed through the ball and really increase that today. So that's really what I'm looking for. Bit of distance would be nice, but I'm just looking to really max out my club head speed. The top I've actually managed to get this year is 128. So that's what I'm aiming for today, to max out my club head speed faster than 128. I'm going to have shots with both the R15 and the 915 D3 again today, just testing out, just trying to figure out which one I like more. And then we all go on from there. Right guys, without further ado, let's get it going. And I'm desperate not to touch her hands of quiet love. She said I may. Never be this far, far, far. And I've fallen out the rain to these same four walls again. She said, I Right guys, so I've got my jacket back on and I am now slightly warmer. It is really, really cold today. Now that might kind of skew some of these results, but I've got to be honest, I think this is the first real time where I've attempted to change something within my swing to get it to that 350 mark. And I didn't like it like at all. I thought it was just out of control. Um, it's probably the best way of describing it. My methodology with trying to hit this 350 yard mark, although I only really have to hit it once, um, in respects to that's the only time I need to hit it is to complete this kind of quest. I want to do it in a way that I can actually take this swing out onto a golf course. And they, those swings just felt out of control. Like I just felt so unstable when I was actually striking the shot. And it really kind of showed. I, I think I've hit about maybe 10 shots or so each uh, with each club, but I've kind of rounded them down to some of the best numbers and some of the best shots because they were a long way kind of offline, some of them, and they really kind of skewed the results. I hit one that almost kind of took out the 100 yard sign on the left. So I've kind of taken a few out and I've just presented the top five to give the best results. I mean, normally I hit 10 and try and keep, well, just keep all the results in there basically, but this time I couldn't really do it because they would have been just so skewed. You wouldn't have actually got kind of any accurate data of when I actually struck it in the center of the club face. Now the main kind of thrust of today and the main reason that I wanted to do today was increase club head speed. Now, if I looked at these numbers and I thought, ah, club head speed has increased, then I thought, oh, maybe I'll give it a little bit more of a go. But my average club head speed there with the R15 
out of the five kind of selected shots. It was only 117. Now, compared to how I have been swinging it with the 915 and the R15, I have been managing to get quicker swings with that when I just have a little bit more control over my body, basically. When both my feet are planted and I'm focusing on width and lag and extension and other aspects within the swing. So, kind of, I had a 121, I had a 120 club head speed. Kind of the total distances for the five selected shots was 308, although the average was a little bit below that because of a couple that were really, really short on duck hooks, effectively. So I've took, taken those out and my decent strikes, decent shots, average up at 308. Again, I have hit the ball further when I've just been using my, not standard swing, but more normal swing without this leg action. So that's the R15 and the 915, well, that, um, I say it didn't improve much, shall we say. Um, club head speed, like I said, I've achieved a 128 club head speed with that, just using the normal swing. And my only maximum club head speed here was a 122, um, averaging out at 119, again, just a five shots. Uh, carry and total distance on the 915 dropped off considerab considerably when compared to the R15. Very simply because my strike over the face was a lot more... Um, wide and a lot more inconsistent and it got a lot more strange flights so i wouldn't say that's a a point up to the r15 i just wasn't striking the 915 well enough to have an accurate comparison between the two today and again it just wasn't as effective as previous changes have been so although like i said refer back to the previous video i have done on kind of lifting the left heel and having more body rotation it's great if you are looking for more power versus accuracy, and it's good if you are struggling with rotation. But for me, I don't struggle with rotation when I keep my feet grounded, and this certainly doesn't feel natural. It certainly doesn't feel like it's going to work. So I think I've found something, for the first time since I've been doing this quest, that I will not be implementing into my swing. And I'll just kind of throw up a bit of a kind of dispersion mat for you here, at the kind of where those shots have been going. Uh, a little bit more consistent with the R15 like you can see rather than 915 but again I, I can't really compare the two accurately so guys thank you so so much for watching as always comment in the box below not the best week for me uh, doing the quest but kind of hampered by the wind and obviously uh, the wind the weather and a new uh, swing change but as always comment in the box below like the video share it around let me know what you think as always and I will see you this week for more videos and next week for the next quest for 350 all right guys thanks for watching and I'll see you next time I didn't really want to do it. We think we're not far. We think we're not far.